Hello, welcome back to a YouTube channel. My, my YouTube channel. Do we really need camera gear to film weddings? My answer would probably be yes. Do you need audio recorders to get good sounding vows? Probably. First thing you're gonna need to film a wedding is most likely a camera. There are so many good choices out there in the world of mirrorless cameras right now. My personal choice is the Panasonic GH5. I think some other good ones are the Fuji X-T3, the Sony a7 III, the Sony a7S II is still awesome. It really comes down to what features you want and your personal preference in how images look. The second most important thing I would say is your lens choices. For me, I can get a wedding done with just two lenses simply because they are zooms and they're really fast. My go-to lenses are the Sigma 18 to 35 and the Sigma 50 to 100. They work really well on the GH5 because of the Micro Four Third sensor and speed booster, but if you have a full frame camera, I would get like a 12 to 24 or 24 to 70 and then a 70 to 200. If you're shooting by yourself, you can just get one really big ND filter, like an 82 millimeter, and then you can get step down rings to put on the filter and put it on your smaller lenses. So it saves you some money. And then it's nice to kind of have a little handy pouch like this just to keep the lenses or the filters safe. These little clear zip vinyl bags are super handy because you can see what you're storing in here so you don't have to like sift through things and stumble around during a shoot. You can quickly get out what you need and have everything ready. Another killer tool for wedding films is a monopod. This is the Siru, Siru, Siru I monopod. It's got these really nice octopus legs. You can set down and then it has these adjustable, really quick like spin thingies. And also if you pair it with a Manfrotto fluid head, you can get some really nice like tripod panning shots. The reason I do monopods is because they take up a lot less space and they're really quick. So you can like get a shot, you can even do like the pan and tilt with the fluid head, and then you can pick it up, move to the next spot, plant, and shoot. You're gonna need SD cards if you're shooting internally. Also, it's nice to have a little case to keep them in, just to keep them safe. The ones I've been using for the past couple years are the Lexar. 1000 cards and honestly i'm not super stoked on them i wouldn't recommend them i recently switched to angel birds v90 cards and just putting those in my gh5 and hitting record it starts recording way faster than these cards and when you're at a wedding sometimes you're trying to get a moment really quick if you click record and then it takes two seconds for your camera to start filming there's a good chance you're gonna miss that moment. So I would highly recommend Angel Birds V60 or V90 cards. I'll have links for everything down below. There's a link to my full filmmaking kit, like for client cinematography. Go check that out. Camera strap, peak design. Having a camera strap during a wedding is something I didn't do for a while, and my wrists would start to get really sore from holding my camera and lenses all day. When you have some downtime, it's nice to just have your camera on a strap so it's just chilling at your side. Okay. Here's something that I love. This is my Pelican 1510 flight case, I think. And inside the case is a Think Tank innards. Think Tank Pelican guts. And if you're flying for weddings, this can be a carry-on. You can also store a laptop in here up to 15 inches. Also, I keep this little light. So if it's dark in a wedding reception or something, you can use this to find your camera gear that you need. Put it back on the magnet. I love it. One more case. So this is a Tenba travel road case flight case. This guy has handles on both sides and you can store a ton of stuff inside this. And sometimes I'll even put my clothes in here if I'm flying so that I don't need any extra baggage when I'm flying to a wedding shoot. This case actually survived a car accident. Highly recommend. Let's move on to my choice of onboard shotgun mic is the Movo. It's a little tiny mic similar to the Rode Video Micro, but it's louder and I feel like it actually sounds better than the Rode. It comes with the windscreen. It's powered by the camera, so you don't have to worry about switching batteries or turning it on during a wedding. The past few years for vows, I've actually been using my phone and the Rode Smart Lav mic. And you can get the Rode Reporter app for free on your device and it records wave files. You can control the input. If you wanna capture the speeches at a reception from the DJ board 
or anything the DJ is saying, any sort of reception audio in high quality, you're gonna need an audio recorder, something like this. This is the Zoom H4n and this power supply. So I just got this power adapter that plugs into the H4n and I can just let this thing run all night. So what I do is I have a designated bag of audio accessory cables. Basically I have every option of audio cable so that I can work with any sort of audio mixer or digital board, XLR to XLR. This one, XLR to quarter, quarter to quarter. And it's like, I just take all these and I drop them on the DJ and I say, Yo, give me that good audio, boy. And he usually complies. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I would appreciate it if you subscribe, like the video, hit the bell if you want to be notified about my videos. And if you really care about planet Earth and want to see world peace at some point, consider becoming a patron of mine. You can support my content for as little as three buckarooskies a month. I have a personal podcast as well as bonus vlogs that go up on my Patreon that nobody else gets to see. So consider supporting. I would, it would seriously mean a lot to me. And now we're gonna shout out all of my beautiful little patrons. Dylan Cabral, Josh Roth, Chris Howes, Reagan Guerriere, Tyler Beakley, Harry Mulder, Josh Garland, Bank Smash, Jonathan Lane, Tony Stanton, Kyle Schaefer, Hannah Markley, Jason Hackworth, Andrew, Michael Mayfield, Kevin Johnson, Devin Nicole, Brandon Anderson, Christian Riddle, Noah Watson, Elisha Roman, Thought Ray, Brandon Steger, Michael Weevil, Jennifer Mayfield, and Jared McCoskey. Thank you so much guys for becoming patrons of my channel. I seriously appreciate it. You're saving my life. You're paying any future accident bills that I might have to pay for.